Hi, I'm Brooks Lake, and this is World Playground in Iceland! Iceland, one of the most raw, rugged, and untouched places on Earth. A true playground for the adventurous soul. Iceland has 300,000 people, nearly 130 volcanoes, 250 glaciers, and nearly 10,000 waterfalls. And our members are going to experience as much of it as possible over the next eight days. This is the land of fire and ice. Let the adventure begin. Our adventure kicks off with four days in and around Reykjavik, the beautiful capital city of Iceland. While in Reykjavik, our members are gonna stay right here at the wonderful Edition Hotel, providing them with a luxury five-star experience. The addition is perfectly situated in the historical and scenic heart of downtown Reykjavik, has terrific views of the old harbor, and is the perfect jumping off point for us to explore all the wonders of the region. We are excited to take you on this adventure with World Playground. I miss you! I miss you! Good to see you! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, my dude! What's up, homie? Oh, oh, these have names! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, take mine. So glad you impromptu just booked that. I, yeah. We just wrapped up our first lunch, so World Playground is now together. All our members made it in safely. We had a great lunch at Tide's restaurant. Chef, thank you for taking care of us. And now we're loading onto the bus going to our first experience. So I wanted to kick it off with a soft landing here in Reykjavik. Some of our members traveled, just arrived this morning. So we have a beautiful, wonderful spa experience coming up. We're heading to Sky Lagoon for the seven step ritual. Come with us on this one. Welcome to Iceland, man. We are at the Sky Lagoon, enjoying this beautiful water, beautiful Icelandic weather, which I guess doesn't get much better than this. And uh, have a little bevy, and then we're gonna hang out for a couple hours, have a little cheese flake, it's a good time. This good thing it does not suck. Does it suck? <laughs> does not suck. Does not suck. <laughs> we start in the lagoon, kind of like a hot tub, and then we go to a cold plunge, then we're gonna go to world's best sauna, then we go to a beautiful, cold, cool steam mist. And then there's an exfoliation scrub, followed by a steamer, and then a hot shower to end it all. We have some members who have never done a cold plunge, so we're gonna go to step two of the seven step ritual, the cold plunge. Who hasn't done it yet? I haven't done it yet. You, you haven't never done it? Uh, actually, no. I've no? never done like in the bucket. <laughs> it's no longer fun. You want to do the ice tub? Sabrina, how are you doing? Oh, over here? Awesome! <laughs> you just have to breathe. <laughs> Hanging in with us. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it! You got this! Girl. How's got the ticker going, right? No feeling in the feet. We're good though. I have no feeling. <laughs> Sarah's, Sarah's not doing well here. <laughs> how long was Brooks in here? He was in here for like probably a minute and a half. I'm gonna beat that. You're at 30 seconds. Uh, I might not beat that. Oh, something's weird's happening. I might be having a heart attack, or I might be getting used to it. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, I'm bailing. I'm just gonna tell Brooks I did five minutes. We made five minutes in the cold plunge right there. Now our reward for that, the world's best sauna. Come this way. We're on step five, we are on the exfoliation part. So this little salt cream down here, put it on the skin, rub it around. Oh, it feels good. And then we're gonna go in the steam room right after this. This was an extra 20 bucks, but it's worth it. Yeah. Comes with the Brooks for your back. Big tipper, he's Woo! a big tipper. <laughs> Just finished it, the seven step ritual at Sky Lagoon. Just had a great like exfoliation and steamer and then a hot shower. Back in the lagoon and then on to supper. We 
are now in this private seating area where we're gonna be eating some bread, some charcuterie, some goose, and we're all very zen and we're all very relaxed. But I love it. It's a great, great start to this whole trip. We are gonna to kick today off with an incredible horseback riding adventure here at Eldestar. We're gonna go out into the country for two to three hours of horseback riding. You can already smell the horses. The Icelandic horses are different than the traditional horses we have in the West, so it's gonna be a really unique experience, see some beautiful countryside, and Iceland gave us her best day of the year so far. So it's Jumping up and down the floor. Right, My hat is an animal. And once there was an animal. Excited? I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Once you got your horse, you can grab the end of the reins like this and walk with your horse in the white pants paddock over there. Uh, once you're in the paddock, please don't mount on yourself. We will check all the equipment first and then we will help you mounting the horse. The dragonfly ran away, but it came back with a story to say. How's it going over it's there? It's amazing! <laughs> My happy place. You grew up on horses, right? I did, yes. This feels right? Love it. Yeah, it feels great. Did you ever think you'd be in Iceland riding horses? No, I did not. But it's been a joyful trip. The blooper real bit. You can see here is one of a few Icelandic forests. Uh, the trees that you can see here, they are brought, uh, imported from Alaska because the living conditions are similar to the ones in Iceland. The birds they got help from below, from dirty ponds and the creatures of snow. Annie, being a being a horse person, yeah. how cool is it to be riding in Iceland? Awesome. Halfway through our horseback riding, it's absolutely beautiful, dude. My, my horse Cody, him and I have bonded. He's a great dude, young guy, he likes to work. Uh, but seeing the Icelandic countryside, been a great start to the day. You can't ask for any better, we'll play ground, right? Amazing, beautiful scenery, beautiful horse, like can't beat it. Horseback riding was incredible. Great morning, then we had a wonderful lunch, and now we're at something that I was really excited to bring the community to do, is the Valley of Rekidur. So we're gonna go for a hike back here in this valley. The hike is gonna be 2.25 miles in. We're on this great terrain like this. The, the terrain is very easy. We're gonna go up some hills, down some hills, cross a few little streams, but the, the hike is not difficult. We're not gonna go fast. We'll move at the pace of the group. If anybody's uncomfortable at any time, we can turn around and have you turn around and come back. The group will continue <laughs> on. <laughs> and then we'll take off our clothes, throw bathing suits on. World Playground. World Playground! Play yeah. 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 Honestly. Out from Iceland. <laughs> you know what that means? Yeah. Let's go Iceland. There we go, there we go. We're at the edge of the world here. Unbelievable. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is a great hike. Just over two miles. Now we're about a hundred yards from entering the hot springs. So just worked up a sweat and excited to peel off the clothes and just jump in like beautiful hot tub temperature, natural hot spring water. I mean, where else in the world do you get to do this? Right here in Island. I love it. I just love it, Kyle. I just love this place. This is an executive timeout. 
It's been too hard of a working day. A mandatory 15 minute break. Union stipulated. What a beautiful place on earth to come to. Members are loving it. Iceland is smiling on us with blue skies and sunshine. And I'm just loving this vacation. This was well worth the wait of all those steps uphill. That one's toasty, huh? Ay -ya! <laughs> that one's hot. Something's not the same. Black hair, cross ties, sweep the floor. Feel your presence. We had a terrific day today and now the crew's in for a wonderful dinner. So we are at Fish Market, also known as Fiskemarkdurven in Icelandic. I tried my best. And we have a seven course chef's menu set up at one of the best restaurants in Reykjavik. We are going to eat like kings and queens tonight. Oh, yes. Uh, here we have a warm chocolate cake, then we have a white chocolate cheesecake with a passion fruit dressing. Bellies are full, hearts are full, and now we're heading back home for a great night's sleep. Golden welcome to day three in Iceland. We are having a fun adventure today. Today we're at Thingvellir National Park and we're going to snorkel at Silfra Fisher. The cool thing about today is that we're going to snorkel between two tectonic plates. On one side we're going to have the North American tectonic plate and on the other side we're going to have the Eurasian tectonic plate and we're going to snorkel down Silfra Fisher right in between it in glacier water that is only 34 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be suited up, we're going to be decked out in gear to keep us warm, but this is known as the clearest water in the world. The visibility of this water is up to 120 meters. This is going to be a phenomenal experience. Nice little, little like shimmy <laughs> in. We are about to swim between two tectonic plates. Eurasia, right? North America. Okay, and the water's gonna be 34 degrees. So we're wearing dry suits. I've never worn one before. This is my space suit. How's the battle with the suit going? It's, the it? struggle is real. <laughs> I dare you to try and die. Like a pro. Like a pro. <laughs> this crack is pretty special because this crack is filled up with the glacier water. Water that comes from the Longukur Glacier, which is second largest glacier in Iceland. That's why actually we have such a beautiful clear water in Sifra because this water it's the glacier water. Second thing is this water travels 50 kilometers under the ground so it gets filtrated through the rocks, through the silt until it gets out exactly in this point. And that's why we have such a beautiful visibility here which goes to 100 meters. I am very constricted right now. <laughs> <laughs> so doing triathlons you pee in the water like that's how you warm your wetsuit up not in this one so real no, nervous. in this one, <laughs> in this one if you pee you're trapping it in your oh suit suit <laughs> group one six people six. okay six. have fun here we go cheryl
It's so amazing. It's incredible. My lips are a little numb. I probably can't pronounce my words very well right now, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> kind of hard to talk. Lips are a little frozen. Oh, <laughs> ah! oh my legs! It's unbelievable. The clearness of the water and the bright green. I never thought I'd be in Iceland, and I am because of World Playground, and I never thought I'd be able to see something so unbelievable that a lot of people in the world don't see. That was incredible. That was really something special. Now our members are a little bit cold, so we drove 30 minutes down the road and we just pulled into Fontana Spa. We're gonna have a bowl of soup and then we're gonna jump in a hot spring again, warm up after a very chilly experience. Ready for a little steam? So this is the geothermal steam coming from below. Ooh, it's geothermal heat coming up from below and then it just super steams. One of the hottest steamers I've ever been and just jumped in the cold plunge. You know it's gonna be cold. So you just, uh, I do a little Wim Hof breathing before I get in. This water is freaking cold. <laughs> Love World Playground. Where can you experience this? Woo! One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. I'm getting numb. That's it. That's it. That's I'm getting numb. I'm getting numb. <laughs> not, not losing consciousness. <laughs> 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 it's cutting laps. Look at him, he's cutting laps. <laughs> he's just showing everybody he was in here. Everybody see her and I'm out. And I'm out. <laughs> Oh, she going all the way I'm not doing that. We'll start the five minutes when we get shoulder deep. Are you going to go shoulder deep? I feel like... Or waist deep. Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh. Yes. yes, Cheryl! Get it, it's shallow. It's shallow. You! Yes, yeah, Cheryl! Yoo-hoo! Give me a hug! Okay. okay. Now we're making our last stop for the day. We're here to see the geyser. And so this thing erupts, I think, every five to seven minutes and just water comes out of the ground. It's a sight to see. This is one of the most iconic things about Iceland. We're gonna go see it right now. Welcome to Steakhusid. So this meal we're about to have was one of the inspirations for this trip. I had one of my favorite meals of my life in this restaurant. We we're about to have the Icelandic surf and turf, which is mink whale and horse steak. And I told our members about it and some of our members are brave enough to try it. We're gonna go have it right now. Oh my God. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. It's good? It's awesome, yeah. It's good. It's it's fantastic. The horse is wonderful, the whale is wonderful. <laughs> we just drove 45 minutes out into the countryside and now we're about to do a two mile hike and then we're gonna descend into a volcano. We load into this bucket trolley thing and we descend down. It's greater than the height of the Statue of Liberty, greater than the height of the tall church here in Iceland. So it's gonna be a really neat experience. We get to spend 45 minutes inside the volcano. We're going down inside a volcano. <laughs> Could you ever imagine that happening? It only happens at World Playground!
The landscape is awesome here. Uh, it's lots, lots of lava rocks, but there's moss, like lime green moss, all over these like black lava rocks. And who knew vegetation could grow on lava? So it's pretty cool. It kind of looks like um, a Dr. Seuss book. It's 120 meter right down into the ground, uh, almost 400 feet. It takes around seven minutes. So it's going quite slow. Wake up, go inside a volcano today. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Sarah, what are we, what are we about to do? Um, hopefully not go up in a, a puff of smoke. Hopefully there's an eruption because these are lava proof <laughs> protective. protective gear. Are there gonna be colors? Is it just black? Is it is there oranges? How dark, how light, yeah. Wow, this is amazing. This is not what I was expecting. Look at this! So, now we have seven minutes until we hit the bottom. We are traveling 120 meters or about 400 feet and we are traveling down exactly the same way the magma was shooting up through a tiny opening at the end of the eruption 4,500 years ago. We're going down into a volcano right now. This is so exciting. So cool. Crazy. This, look at the colors on it. by far one of the coolest things we've ever done with World Playground. I am loving this. Welcome inside the volcano. So, Trinugagigur, or this crater specifically, is actually the only one in the world, only volcano in the world, that you can enter into the way that we just did. Gases were being released from the magma chamber itself, and with those gases, minerals coated the walls. Every color has its corresponding mineral. Red is iron oxide, green is copper, yellow is sulfur, and the purple is the iron mixing with the copper. Woke up today, and Three hours later, I'm in a volcano. Like, what can you say? This is uh, this is definitely something special. This is one, not only one of the coolest things I've ever done, but I think one of the coolest things World Playground has ever done. Our members are just in awe coming down that volcano and just looking at the colors on the, on the wall, the textures on the wall, learning about the history of how this place was formed. And it's the deepest lava cave in the world. I'm just in awe, just taking in this nature's cathedral. I just always think nature doesn't get it wrong. This place is amazing. It's unbelievable. There's no words. This is incredible. Wow is what I'm thinking. Never seen anything like this. This is 10 times, a million times more amazing than what I expected. The yeah. copper, the iron. Mind blowing. Just in the pond. I mean, incredible. Top five moments in Me my too. life. I would have never there. figured, yeah. but it's just, you can't put words to it. I know. It's impossible. I, I can't stop smiling. I know. I can tell you it was amazing and incredible. Speechless because I don't even, can't even find words to like explain how amazing this was. I think that uh, World Playground, you guys do it upright. There's no, nobody better. When's our next trip? How are you? This is Corey. <laughs> yes, Hi guys. Corey is a nice brother to, to me. Um, he's going to join us on the rest of the Icelandic trip. Yeah. Corey and I have been planning this trip since 2018 and have never been able to take it. So he was in England. His wife is shooting a uh, project in England and jumped over and he's going to join us the rest of the way here.
We are at Blue Lagoon here in Iceland. It's one of the most iconic things you can do when visiting Iceland. We're at this lagoon and this water is seawater that comes from 2,000 meters below the surface, comes up, heats up this lagoon, and it comes up at 38 degrees Celsius. It's a wonderful experience. And as we like to do at World Playground, we have a little treat for our members. They worked hard this morning. So we're gonna treat them to a little water massage. doing a black lava scrub it is a step one of a four-step process oh, so we oh, keep yeah okay. we keep this on for three minutes like this oh like this yep sabrina's got the technique down out and away out and away <laughs> i will be scrubbing all day and i will look like i looked when i graduated from high school they say it, it uh, subtracts 10 years from your 10 skin. years hopefully uh hopefully a little more than that You know, it's been a really rugged and hard Icelandic adventure so far. I'm in for some pampering, you know? How's that look? Skin's just taking a beating with the blistering. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make it war paint. Make me look badass. <laughs> so romantic. Okay, step two. This free, it's actually ice cold water. And you, get <laughs> and you have to wash it off. Time to get her off. <laughs> Actually, Brooks did give me, he said anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Okay, that's and cool. that's Brooks what like I took you. to heart with this application. I just got out of my massage, so I'm a little brain out of it. It was a fabulous massage, oh my god. And now I'm just gonna slather it up, look like a fool. First we did the lava rock, or lava scrub. Two, we washed our face. Three, this is the sulfate, and it's a deep cleanser. So it stays on for 10 minutes, we're gonna go grab a drink. And then we'll be back. I didn't. I didn't get this as education. This is unbelievable. You cannot <laughs> believe the stuff that happens. You can't make it up, as we like to say. If you follow me, we're gonna move on to step four. Oh, there we go. Well, step four was really wine. <laughs> um, but step five. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. Oh, that one. Is it coming? <laughs> we're on step six. The algae and the anti-aging plus the wine. And um, once I take this off, you're not going to recognize me. Tonight was a lot of fun. Our group is really coming together. we got tremendous members. I always say magic happens when World Playground comes together. It was a wonderful day, wonderful night. We're heading home for some sleep. Today I'm super excited about we're heading out to Lamalagar to do some incredible hiking, but it's how we get there that's jazzing me up. The bus was not cool enough to take us out there. So we got a little surprise for you guys to come with me. Oh. <laughs> we're wheeling, I love it. Can I drive? If I had a boyfriend, he'd be very jealous. Waterfalls. Chef's kiss.
Lend my little girl. If you can follow this, then it is Rittari Reidi with Romaborg, Randi Thar and Rupplaði, Randi Sum and Rowum. Rhythm of roll of my rhythm roll up the rim to win or my roll roll. Okay, and that's the hardest thing I've ever heard. One one thing. How many are in it? How many are? Yeah, I was gonna guess twenty-seven as well. No, no, no. Thirty-four, fifty-eight. No, 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 no. None. 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 There is none in it. Oh yeah, yeah. IT. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Þarf hann ekki að hjálpa þér eða? Það er örlega betra sko. Já, er ekki? Jó, Reyntar er hann að fara á morgun, maður er hvað stressaður að því hann hefur ekki færið þetta. Láttu hann bara að fara með þér. Yeah. Yeah. They're just talking strategy, where we're going to hike, you know, we're going to start up this way, then we move to the right, then we circle around the mountain, come back. That's basically all they said. <laughs> You're fluent now. Yeah, very good. Can you say it again? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> or this one, dude, <laughs> good. <laughs> so my girlfriend says to our dog, <laughs> means like good boy. <laughs> I got a special request. Yes. Can you sing one more time? Yes. Okay. All right. Mark, get set, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jean. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> I love it. Love it. For this hike, I want to see a lot of color on these mountains. That's what I'm hopeful for. Lots of peaks, lots of color. I'm excited to see the snow coming all the way down to the grass. Lanmaligar delivered. It was amazing to walk through that landscape. And Iceland smiled on us, gave us blue skies, warm temperatures. This was incredible. Now we're going to transition to our next hotel, Hotel Ranga, which I hear is beautiful. It's out in the Icelandic countryside. Hotel Ranga out in the Icelandic countryside. We just got here and now we are having a dinner right behind. We have a beautiful setup overlooking a river, private little setup the way we like to do it here at World Playground. Our members are going to eat great tonight. Today was an awesome day. Happy birthday to you! Wildly grateful to have met this family at World Playground and just super humbled and just. <laughs> You know, hard to believe that you get the chance to do things like this. I just hope everybody who does have the possibility to come do these things will take advantage of it and actually come do them. It's not just the experiences that we all get to enjoy that we hope that our friends and family get to come over here and do. It's really the people that are in this room. I mean, that's the magic. So thank you. We had a great night and a great stay here at Hotel Ranga and now our adventure continues as we push out to Cellula Foss. <laughs> I hope I said it right. A uh, beautiful, wonderful waterfall that we get to actually walk behind. So we're going to do that this morning and then we're going to do an ATV tour on the Black Sand Beach and go check out the plane wreck. Excited for this day. Come with us.
looking at the most beautiful, amazing waterfall, but it is definitely a little wet and cold. So we're trying to decide how daring we want to be and getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Enjoying this amazing waterfall. <laughs> it's incredible. Just incredible. I walked around an entire waterfall. Usually you're looking at it just from the front, but to see it from every angle and feel that cool mist was exhilarating. <laughs> that last waterfall was awesome shot. <laughs> Waterfalls were great. Amazing experience here at the waterfalls, and now we go on to something really exciting, an ATV tour across the Black Sand Beach to the plane wreck, and some of our members have never drove an ATV before, so we will see how this experience goes. Nice, Mars. <laughs> yes, yes. Nice. We are going ATVing, I think, on a beach, Black Sand in a very sexy outfit. I can't put my blazer up, Kyle. I got oh. my GoPro on. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We are all geared up and now we're going to take the ATVs on about an hour long drive. We're going to get out to the Black Sand Beach and we're going to go by the DC plane wreck. We're going to stop there, take some cool photos and videos and then maybe if we're good enough riders we'll be able to take the long road home. We'll find out later. about the plane wreck. This is a DC-13, uh, or so I've been told. <laughs> uh, the, it's uh, dated from the Second World War or the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. This is originally a US Navy plane. Oh. And uh, the Americans uh, leave your trash even on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, this is one of the most popular tourist attractions uh, in Iceland and I appreciate uh, Without you, I would not be working here. <laughs> I like my job. There were seven passengers aboard when it landed here, and everybody survived, but the pilot, he broke his arm from the force of the steering wheel when they hit the ground. Welcome to the DC plane wreck. So this is about a 30 mile ride from where we picked up the ATVs, and now it feels like we're out here on the moon. And this is an area that I've always wanted to come. I've seen photos of this for years and years and years. I've always wanted to visit this. It's really unique. Uh, our guy just gave us this story on the story and the myths on the landing of this plane, but now we're gonna go explore. You see this place on Instagram. You've seen it, right? Everybody's seen it? I haven't. You I haven't have seen not this? seen this place on Instagram or Justin Bieber's music video. That was news to me. I've seen it on Instagram. I, I, I don't follow the Biebs. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, Team Selena. Oh, same here. Yeah. This is a good interview. <laughs> it went off the rails interview. fast, but I like it. With all the fog and everything, it looks it actually looks as if we were on Mars. Especially when we're in these these um, moon suits. It legit looks like a bunch of like astronauts yes, walking around. Just walking around the The ride was amazing. My only complaint, it was too short. I could have ridden 
forever. Another epic day. It is awesome. Up and down the boulevard and shadows, searching in the night. Iceland! <laughs> searching in the night. Yeah, get it, Cheryl! Yeah. Get it, Cheryl! just arrived at one of Iceland's most iconic hotels, the Foss Hotel Glacier Lagoon. I have always wanted to come to this hotel. It's set in the Icelandic countryside at the base of a bunch of hills with beautiful sprawling lupin fields, a gigantic stunning waterfall. We're staying here for the next two days. We're gonna go in, have some dinner, and then rest up tonight because we have two more days of big action. Can't wait for this day, so excited. Something very unique and different than we've ever done here. We are heading to Jokosarland Glacier Lagoon, which is the biggest lagoon in all of Iceland. And we're gonna take Zodiac boats and head out into the, into the lagoon, see some icebergs, and then after that, we're putting on some special gear and we are going trekking on the glacier. Today is gonna to be an adventurous and exciting day. Something I've never done in my life again with World Playground. I am so excited. Scientists, they can uh, drill into the to the glacier and and take the ash and carpet to, to see uh, from what line is what eruption. Wow. I am absolutely <laughs> blown away. The colors of the glacier. It's incandescent. It's practically glowing, it's luminous. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, amazing. This is, you know, this is a huge moment for me. I love this. Seals. Word on the street though is that you got your tongue snuck on a piece of ice. Yes, Dumb and Dumber style. I did lick part of the iceberg. The and tongue does stick. <laughs> What's that? The tongue sticks. Yeah, the tongue stick. Now we saw it. Now we want to go play on it. We're going to go walk on it. We're going to load into these bad boys right behind me. Ooh, look at that guy. We're going to load in those and then go up on the glacier for some trekking. Let's go. So the harnesses, they are going on top of our jacket, okay? So they need to be easily reachable. This green strap indicates the front. So firstly, we are going through the big loop, which is our waist loop. We were in the lagoon earlier today. It was phenomenal there. Now we're gonna see it from above. I can't wait to see this. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, dun, dun. We just gotta shoot a whole music video out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are standing right now in a national park, which is called exactly the same like this glacier. So the name is Batna Yokutu. This uh, outlet, which we are going to visit today, is one of the 31 outlets all around the glacier. And this one is one of the widest ones. And it has very easy name, which is Breda Mercuriokut. Breda Mercuriokut. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, that was brilliant.
I feel like I'm in a Star Wars movie, which is vastly different from where I feel like I was this morning. I felt like I was in a magical wonderland this morning on the ice. This is totally different, and this is also the glacier. This is my first ice climb, glacier climb. I'm wearing crampons. I've never worn crampons before because I've never walked on a glacier. When one walks on a glacier, you know, like anything else in life, the proper footwear is needed. It's about a kilometer, kilometer and a half hike in, mostly stone and pebble, and now we are ascending up the glacier. The really cool thing was a lot of our members had it on their bucket list to hike or trek on a glacier. And we just started that right now. So people right now are going check on their bucket list. And it's wonderful to experience what they're going through hiking on a beautiful glacier. That's why we do World Playground. Make your bucket list come to life. The most important rule is that we are going to walk one after another in a straight line. Okay? Because we know the glacier and we know the safest and the coolest paths, of course. And we're, when I'm going to be in front, in that case, I will know that you're going to be safe as well when we, you are following my lead. It's almost spiritual when you look around the corner and you think to yourself, I'm in this living creature and it's a glacier. It's unbelievable. You can't even put into words. Just, it's nature at its finest. Oh, that was so, I mean, almost like a tear to your eye. It was so amazing and like magical. It was like a crystal palace. It was awesome. Wait, do you see it? Yes, that's amazing. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I'm telling you, I can't find any more words to describe the things that we're doing here. I can't. It's, it's out of this world, is what it is. It's out of this world. I'm so proud of our group. That's one of the most incredible life experiences we can have. And for all of our members who have never been on a glacier before to enter the crevasse, to go down, to see what we saw, uh, it's a very unique experience. It's very technical, it's very difficult. So proud of all of our members. Well done, World Playground. Congratulations, WP! Woo! Congratulations! Wow. That's not a small thing that you, we all just did. That is not a small thing by exactly. any means. Exactly. Thank you, uh, Alex and Javier. Thank you very much. I, I love moments like this. I'm feeling a lot. Like when I saw you come out of there, when seeing Sabrina do it, seeing Cheryl come out, like unbelievable experience. It's moments like that that make it. I mean, it's all worth it for us. But it's moments like that that make it really special. Congratulations, all bucket list chat. That was amazing. I wanna give a massive round of applause to all of our World Playground members. That was something significant. That was no small feat that we just had. Very technical, very difficult, and facing fears. And it's our mission here at World Playground to inspire people to go play in the world. And you guys are all champions for doing that. You earned it. Ice Explorers, Javier, Alex, thank you so much for making our dreams come true. Bucket list check. Now we're going back to Foss Hotel Glacier Lagoon, get ourselves a wonderful meal, sit in the hot tub, relax in all our glory. Golden Dian, it's our last full day of adventure here. We have one more major experience. We're going to go kayaking out in Yokosawa Glacier Lagoon. So yesterday we took the Zodiac boat tour. We could go see the icebergs in the glacier. Today we're gonna to take kayaks out and get a little closer viewing and get really close to them. Hopefully see some seals as well. Hopefully everybody stays in the kayak because the water is down to 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Celsius. <laughs> Fahrenheit, it would be frozen. Man, my brain's tired. It's been a heck of an adventure. Give us the intro for the day. Brooks is Brooks has been. Uh, is, is, he, is he blowing? I, I, I need help. It's day eight. I'm burned out. I need help with the intro for today and what we're doing. Okay. Day eight. Today we are getting up close and personal with the glaciers. I mean, touching them in kayaks. <laughs> I'll be I'll be surprised if a whale doesn't swim between us. Okay, today. there we go. This Gene. day, this trip has been amazing, beyond belief, unlike anything you've ever experienced in your life. Get off your ass and join World <laughs> Playground and get over here. Gene, you got my job. So <laughs> Am I in? I'm hoping to see seals on the ice, and uh, I'd like to be greeted by a seal, actually. And we're going to see those beautiful blue glaciers that look like diamonds. Feet, your feet goes in. I will then push you out, and you just wait for the rest of the group. Whoa. Plan is to go further up north here, closer to the big ones up there, and then uh, I will make a quick, quick stop and, and tell you a little bit about the lagoon and the glaciers and the and the area. This one is called Breda Mercuryjökull. If we would take all the water and also the ice that's gone from this glacier, we could fill up 2,020 feet shipping containers every hour. That's it for Yokosarland Glacier Lagoon. The last two days out here have been absolutely spectacular. And sadly to say now we gotta make our way back to Reykjavik. So we're gonna hit the road now, but we got one more stop for the people to see. We are at Grill Market, which my lovely girlfriend, Katrin Davis Sauter, who is Icelandic, said is the best meal in all of Reykjavik. So we're treating our members to one final beautiful meal. This one's for members only. Camera stays out here. We're going to have a feast. That is it for this adventure. I want to say thank you to the 19 wonderful members that joined us right here in Iceland. And I want to say thank you to everybody in Iceland, all the tour providers, vendor providers that assisted us, our guides, uh, and the Icelandic weather was smiling on us all week. If you saw this video and loved it, come join us next year. We're coming right back here to Iceland for another Land of Fire and Ice adventure. We would love to have you join us. Now I'm heading home. This has been amazing. Iceland, we'll see you next June. We will see you next year, Iceland. Goodbye. That's it for this adventure. Stay tuned for the next one. Nobody mentions <laughs> Members are staying right here at the wonderful Edition Hotel, downtown Reykjavik. Right to the brim? Yeah. It's a little aggressive with the frill. Fart <laughs> The next chapter of the venture begins now. What you doing there, bud? <laughs> how dare you? you? How you make me do this and then you ask me what I'm doing and you expose me? The internet is forever, Kyle. You just exposed me. Annie kind of was in on that, Annie though. Annie was in on that, too. Mm -hmm. I know him too well. Too many adventures with this guy. I feel sabotaged. Banana <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Banana na dur. Beef ride astur. Banana dur. Also known as no parking here, folks. Oh my god!
Run! <laughs> <laughs>